and working at new fields, there's just a lot of creativity among us. Dr. Colette Pierce Burnett served as president and CEO of New Fields for a little more than a year before the museum announced her departure on November 10th. On that day, Newfield's Board of Trustees Chair Darian Christian released the following statement, which reads in part, We thank Dr. Burnett for her service to Newfield's. She helped deepen our relationships with the community and championed the transformative powers of art and nature. However, the reason behind her sudden departure is still a mystery, with several community groups demanding an explanation from Newfield's. With no explanation, uh, no warning, uh, no lead up, and, and just complete radio silence. Um, it, it almost speaks to the kind of dismissive attitude that people have towards our communities and, the, and our constituents. Dr. Brandon Cosby with the Flanner House, a member of the African American Coalition, says the announcement came as a complete shock. When we see yet another professional um, put in the position, uh, you know, of resigning, um, like I said, without context warning or explanation, um, it really speaks to whether or not black and brown folks in executive leadership positions are truly valued. The Indiana Black Expo and the Indianapolis Urban League are also speaking out. They released a joint statement regarding her departure on Thursday. It says in part, Dr. Burnett opened the new field's doors to many African-American organizations and the entire community. And we have personally witnessed the buzz and excitement around her leadership. It goes on to say, when a stellar executive abruptly resigns, one must wonder again, are we seriously committed to black talent recruitment and retention in Indiana? We reached out to Newfields for the reason behind Dr. Burnett's departure. They did not provide any details, but they confirmed with us what our partners at IBJ reported that her departure comes around the same time as the resignation of two Newfields board members. A protest is now planned for Sunday at 4.30 at the intersection of MLK and 38th. In Indianapolis, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News. Our website lays out where the museum goes from here. And you can also find some more information on Newfield's former CEO. Just click on this story at fox59.com.